Hello there. If you're a middle school math teacher trying to figure out what are the three top routines that you must set up in your classroom so that things run efficiently and your students are not asking you the same questions every day over and over, this video is for you. If we don't already know each other, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of the Pre-Algebra Teachers Middle School Math Membership. We are your one-stop shop for everything you need to teach middle school math. In this video, like I said, I'm going to be sharing my top three routines that you must teach your students so that one, they stop asking you the same questions over and over again and things run smoothly. Let me know in the comments if any of these, if you have any of these routines set up or if you need to set them up. Either way, you're in luck because whether you already have them set up or you need to set them up, now you know. Okay, so routine number one. Set up the morning work, whatever it is that your students need to do upon walking in. They should never ask you when they walk into the classroom, what am I supposed to do right now, right? Or what do you want me to do? They should already know what the routine is. So whether it is you have a bell ringer, whether it is they have to take out their homework and be ready to check answers, whether it is to just write down the homework for the day, whatever your routine is, make sure that your students know so that they come in, they do what they have to do, and then it gives you just a few minutes to, you know, gather your thoughts or and or take attendance and or, you know, sometimes you might have, you know, a last minute email you're answering or you're finishing a conversation with the colleague. It just gives you a few minutes at the beginning of class to kind of get yourself together. OK, so kind of that. So whatever that that routine is upon walking into the classroom. Number two, what is the routine you want your students to do if they are absent? This routine might take more reminding because in theory your students shouldn't be absent all the time so you know like they shouldn't it's going to be harder for them to remember this routine because it's not going to be something that they do every day compared to you know like the thing that they do upon walking into your class every day so this the routine for what do i do when i'm absent again might take some extra reminding but make sure you have it set up so is it to check the absent folder, you know, at the, the at the absent desk in your classroom? Is it to check your website? Do the kids know your website? How do they access it? Whatever it is, show them, remind them, and don't get frustrated if a student is absent and they don't remember and they ask you and you're like, I already told you, but you know, it's like you didn't tell them, you told them on the first day of school, but now you're a month in. So like, of course they don't necessarily remember, but if you have to tell one student, make sure you're reminding your whole class, not to embarrass that one student, but just as a reminder, like, hey, remember if you're absent, you need to go to wherever to get the absent work because students should know you know, don't you hate it when students are absent and they go, do we do anything yesterday? It's like, of course we didn't do anything. You were absent. So we just had a party without you. Right? Like, I mean, of course we did some work. So go, go get the work that you missed and, but they have to know where to go. And then number three, how do students use the restroom in your class? What is that routine set up for them? Do they have to raise their hand and ask you? Is there like a sign up sheet that they have to you know sign out and then sign back in um is there a pass they have to take do you personally for me i don't believe this may be an unpopular opinion i don't know but i don't believe that that teachers should hold to i don't believe teachers should like not allow students to use the bathroom if a student needs to use the bathroom i believe they should just be able to go Obviously, you need to make sure they're not taking advantage of it and you need to make sure, do you really have to use the bathroom or is this, or do you need to take a break? Those are two different things. Um, you know, I hate when, when I don't like it when, when I see teachers like give extra credit or homework pass if they haven't used the bathroom the whole semester. I just think if you have to use the bathroom, go use the bathroom. But there is parameters around that. You cannot just come straight in and use the bathroom unless it is a dire emergency. So what is a routine for your students? For me, 
personally, my students are not allowed to use the bathroom during direct instruction time. So if I am teaching, then I will ask the student, can you wait five minutes because we're almost done with the notes. As soon as we're done with the notes, then you can go because I just don't want to have to explain the notes 60,000 times, right? So, you know, if it's independent work time, if it's like, if it's independent work time, they may go, but it's one at a time for me. And um, my personal rule in the classroom is if it takes you three minutes in the bathroom, then you owe me three minutes after class. So are my particular, this might not work for you, right? Because you might have, kids might only have passing periods, but my, at my school, we have a, we are on a block schedule, so it's a little bit easier. Um, so I tell them, if you take my time, I take your time. So whatever, you, however long it takes you in the bathroom, you owe me that time. And the kids seem, seem to understand that. They feel like that's fair and they don't really take advantage. So to recap, what is the routine for your students upon walking into your classroom? What is the routine for students when they're absent? And what is your bathroom routine? These are things that will help you have a easily more efficiently run classroom and your students will not have to ask you a million questions, um, the same questions over and over again, because that simply gets annoying. Again, let me know in the comments below if you have any of these routines set up in your classroom or if you're planning on setting up one of these or all of these routines until next time bye for now